Welcome everyone to today's panel discussion. My name is Bahar and I'm the Global Head of Sustainable Transformation. With me, I have two board members from our newly installed Sustainability Committee, Chairperson Nicola Kem and Committee Member Margot Cook. Welcome so much. Margot, you joining us from US and Nicola from Netherlands. Great to have you both on the screen. So EQT's purpose is to future-proof companies and make a positive impact in everything we do. It has now been two years since our shareholders decided to adopt the statement of purpose and reflect that in our articles of association. So what we'll discuss today will focus on EQT's sustainability ambitions and the role of the board and this newly sustainability committee to drive this transformation. And I think I will move firstly to you, Nicola, with the question to tell us what is the role of the board and the Sustainability Committee, and how does sustainability actually plays um, a part of that agenda? Thank you, Bahar. EQT is a recognized sustainability leader, and especially in integrating sustainability at the board level. It's been the first in the investment industry to appoint a sustainability-focused board seat, and it's a front runner in appointing sustainability champions at portfolio companies. And now it's also been the first to create a sustainability committee. Mm. And from my perspective, uh, the committee serves three purposes, um, accountability, insight, and leadership. So on accountability, um, it ensures that EQT's purpose-driven approach is also reflected in its governance model. It ensures that sustainability is integrated in the company strategy and decision-making. Mm. Also, the board holds the management accountable for translating purpose to strategy to implementation, and the committee acts as an extension of the board. Second, on insight, the committee provides an outside-in perspective to the management, and it provides a forum where we can learn from external experts, and we can use that insight for deeper conversations at the board, since boards are really confronted with a lot of ESG topics nowadays. And third, on leadership, uh, EQT aims to lead the transformation of the investment industry. This means driving sustainable transformation on all fronts, including at the board. Mm. And it wants to outperform in e on ESG and uh, have ESG performance be alongside financial performance. Great. And you mentioned some of the topics that are relevant and, and, and material for us to discuss. But if you could give some more flavors on the topic that you are looking at and the Sustainability Committee should focus on going forward. Yeah, the committee will meet quarterly to discuss on strategy, commitments and performance. And now we're discussing new commitments to ensure they're tangible. They allow us to measure progress. Um, they resonate with shareholders and that they show the positive impact that mm. EQT brings. Um, the committee also will take part in the uh, EQT transformation journey. It will discuss the challenges that EQT faces. It will discuss specific ESG topics like climate risk, social topics, impact mm. measurement, and we'll discuss future trends and regulatory challenges and learn from external experts on emerging topics like impact reporting. It sounds like a very comprehensive agenda. And if I now turn to you, Margot, you joined our board one year ago and you come with very large, extensive experience from asset management industry. How would you say we are positioned compared to our peers in driving sustainability? And why do you think this agenda is actually important for the board to discuss and own? Thanks, Bahari. You know, one of the primary reasons that I was excited about the board of EQT was that EQT really does stand apart from its peers on the sustainability front. Mm -hmm. It's not an add on. It's not sort of, you know, just, you know, adjacent to the investment process. It is part of the investment approach. It's a critical part of the investment approach. Sustainability issues are embedded into the core belief systems of the firm. So it's equally as important to EQT's portfolio companies as it is to every employee of the firm. And that's been incredibly impressive to me. Mm. I think by strengthening our focus via this committee mm. and on the board, it's going to enable us to use sustainability even more as a lever for value creation. You know, we believe that we can influence the perspective that a lot of companies have today where they put sustainability sort of in the risk and compliance camp 
rather than embedding these practices throughout their whole uh, throughout their whole company. I'd say finally that the world faces some enormous social and environmental challenges today, and the time for change is now. Boards have a responsibility in ensuring that the companies they oversee are making sustainability a top priority. And at EQT, it really is a top priority. Strong sustainability practices are leading to better outcomes for everyone, including our portfolio companies, our employees, and all of our stakeholders. Mm. That, that's, I can't really agree more. And if we look at it from a from a sustainability milestone and what we have achieved during the last year and what you hope that we should achieve uh, in the coming years. Maybe starting with you, Nicola, what, is, what are your expectations? What are you most proud of uh, looking back, but also looking uh, for the future? Yeah, there have been some fantastic achievements over the last year. Um, EQT is the first private markets firm to set science-based targets. Mm -hmm. And it's also committed to set science-based targets for all of its portfolio companies. Um, 40 companies have already started on this. And also Future Fund was launched, which is an impact-driven longer hold fund mm -hmm. with impact-linked carried interest. Um, EQT has also invested 10 billion euro last year in climate and environment related investments mm. and especially appointing you Bahar as the head of sustainable transformation in the EQT executive committee. Mm. So um, I'd like to hear from you. How do you think the board and especially the sustainability committee can help drive sustainable transformation at EQT? I think the conversation and the journey have already started uh, also with, with you on the board and the conversation that we have already have. Um, and we are ambition is to set the bar very high, not only for ourselves, but for the entire industry. And the conversation we have very much right now is to how do we live our purpose? How do we deliver on the promise to have an impact in everything we do? And later this year, we will launch new commitments, new ambitions. And with that, also look at how can we ensure that we measure the results and the performance to end of the day deliver superior re returns to our investors. So I hope this conversation has sparked some uh, good ideas and inspiration for uh, uh, us to continue the discussion. It's a journey that we uh, need to all be a part of and involved in, from employees, as you said, Margot, to the board and the chair of the boards in our portfolio companies. So I welcome you all to be a part of this journey to uh, discuss this uh, topic with us, share your insights and continue the conversation. Thank you so much for joining us uh, and enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you.